I wanted to share something with you real quick. <clears throat> Pray about this because I saw two visions. One was a volcano vision and another one was helicopters dropping off food supplies. In the volcano vision, I saw it was like a flash, a sudden flash, like seeing an explosion jump out of the darkness. And what I saw was two volcanoes, same size just about, they were the bigger ones, simultaneously going off, sparks and fire and flames and the whole nine yards and the lava, the whole explosion. Two side volcanoes were smaller and so was the eruption. The eruption was very small. So altogether it was four volcanoes erupting around the same time of each other. Now, I don't know what the locations are. I don't know what the regions are, what the timeline is, where each one of the volcanoes were located, but it just seemed like wherever they were on the globe, they were going off almost, sim almost simultaneously. Now, the next thing I saw, which was crazy, this was a dream. I was standing on a sidewalk and the person was in front of me. We heard the helicopter above and they were lowering this big container. And the big container looked almost like a giant sack. And it was food supplies. So I don't know if we're going to get to the point where the stores can't carry the needs of the communities. I don't know what's going to happen if, if the government's going to have to kick in and the helicopters are going to be bringing in food supplies to certain communities that are hard to reach or not. But, or they may be on quarantine and they have to airborne, as they call it, airborne food. They might have to deliver the food via airborne helicopters. So I'm just asking that you guys pray about all this because it looks like things are going to get worse before they get better. And I do, years ago I told a friend of mine, I even did a video on YouTube, I don't even remember it, it's, I've got almost 2,000 videos, about 1,800. So on this video I talked about how it is to stand and watch popcorn go off when you're cooking popcorn at home. And you notice there's always that one popcorn that pops off by itself. Then there's silence. Then another one. And it just takes off and all of them are just going off at one time and after a while it's like you know you can't even differentiate because they're all going off like a clutter of noise well that's the way I saw calamity coming calamity was going to start with a major event followed by another event then another then do, 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 do. next thing you know, there's so many things going on, people's heads are spinning. We're not to fear, but we are to ask God, what are we to do in the midst of this getting started? Because I believe that the, the coronavirus is the beginning of something. It's a run of events. To me, I see it as the beginning of sorrow. Some people call it the birth pains. Whatever you want to call it, I do believe all of this will be leading into the whole last day's events. And we need to make sure spiritually and practically that we're living right for God. We also need to seek his face because he will protect his people. But we have to ask his advice. We have to consult with him. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Not he might. He will direct your path. So there are a lot of things that a lot of us could do 
to get over, to get past this unscathed. Now, here are a couple of extra tips I just picked up. Zinc kills the virus on contact. So if you've touched your face or you've been around somebody, whatever, you make sure you keep a lot of zinc lozenges around you. You take zinc. Garlic is the best antioxidant coming and going. Broccoli, great antioxidant. Plums are better with antioxidants than the berries, and they're cheaper. And I leave you with that. God bless you.